runners coming forward for the opening race underway in this Tattersalls National Hunt four-year-old maiden. Croke Park is one of the first to show in company with Wishful Drinking and Barry the Butcher. They're in the front three as they head on their way towards the first of 14 fences. Look to the west is also racing prominently on the outside as they go out over fence number one over which they're all safely and it is the sole mare in the lineup look to the west who has the early advantage leads by two lengths over Croke Park third position black jacket lime green cap for wishful drinking Harry the Butcher is next being followed by man at work right down the inside as the pace is steadying on the run towards fence number two Still the sole mare look to the west who has the reduced advantage now over Crow Park in the second position. Wink Wishful Drinking is in third races just in advance of Barry the Butcher on the outside. Man at Work is next races down the inner in the quarters of Blue and Yellow. Ballybeg Boss and Look to the Fog are the pack pair. So heading on towards fence number three and Croke Park has now come to rejoin Look to the West as the pair match drives head over fence number three. Ballybeg Boss and Come to the Fog continuing to dispute the back two positions as they're about to turn right-handed and climb towards fence number four and heading on towards the highest point of the course. And Look to the West striding on once again has re-established the advantage up to two lengths over Croke Park, who races on the inside of Wishful Drinking. Barry the Butcher's content to chase the front trio in fourth position. Man at Work is towards the rear of mid-division as they go out over fence number four. Ballybeg Boss racing on the inside of Come to the Fog being the back marker. So right-handed they race, they're at the top of the hill and they're about to race downhill on their way towards five and six down along the back straight in our opener. It is look to the west who's just establishing her advantage once again has now gone three or four lengths clear in the hands of Darren McGill white sleeves a red and white quarter jacket comfortably clear now over Croke Park the orange jacket with the white sleeves wishful drinking black jacket with the lime green cap as they close in on this next fence at number five a man at work is improving position as the leader steadied notably into it and reduce and loses her advantage riddled right down to a length and a half now Man at work improving on the inside in the blue and yellow quarters of Barry the Butcher and black and green. Ballybeg Boss in the two-toned blue race on the inside of the overall back marker come out the fog. Closing on fence number six, after which they will have completed their opening circuit and it is still a look to the west for the local Mick Murphy yard. Has the advantage over Crow Park and Wishful Dreaming there in second and third. Fourth for Barry the Butcher races on the outside of Manet, work Ballybeg Boss and come to the fog. Right handed they race, about to pass through there point of departure heading on towards the next which is fence number seven it marks the halfway point in this Tattersalls National Hunt four-year-old maiden and it's look to the west and Darren McGill with the advantage over wishful dreaming and Barry O'Neill on the outside Barry will be aboard Pat's Fancy and National Hunt Chase at Cheltenham on Tuesday Croke Park's down the inside and Luke Murphy being followed in the fourth position by Barry the Butcher as wishful dreaming was out jumped by Croke Park over fence number seven Barry the Butcher and Jack Hendrick racing on the outside they're being followed by Man at Work and Benny Walsh. Ballybeg Boss and Rob James also trains this four-year-old. And Come to the Fog is the overall back marker and Shane O'Rourke. So heading on their way towards the next fence. It's seven from the finish. It'll be the last in a circuit's time. Look to the west with the advantage Crow Park. Much better jump this time on the outer by a wishful drinking. Fourth position for Barry the Butcher, Man at Work, Ballybeg Boss. Now come to be relegating Come to the Fog to be the overall back marker. Marker. Passing the post with a circuit left to race, six fences to be jumped in our opener and six lengths covers the seven as they head on towards this next fence and wishful dreaming of drinking has been brought alongside the longtime leader Look to the West but Look to the West, the sole mare in the lineup receiving weight from each of her rivals, she was quicker at over the sixth last and once again goes on by a length. Wishful drinking in the second position. Crow Park is in third. Jack the Butcher's always held the fourth position, racing just on the outside of Man at Work. Ballybeg Boss has never left the rear of the field. Similar comments applying to come to the fog. So about to go over the fifth last. 
Once again, a good jump by our leader. Croke parked Peck slightly on landing out over that fence. Is joined for the third position by Barry the Butcher. So they're at the highest point of the course. Now about to race downhill on their way towards the next fence, which is four from the finish. And still at the head of affairs, it is Luck to the West and Darren McGill with the advantage coming down the centre of the course. Out wider to Wishful Drinking, Barry O'Neill, the lime green cap. Orange and white jacket right down the inside of Croke Park and Luke Murphy. Barry the Butcher's out wide as again Luck to the West is making ground with her good jumping in contrast. Come to the fog, making a shuddering error at that fence and has lost touch with the six in front of him. So it is Wishful Drinking. Now upsides Luck to the West who's jumped well to this point. Barry the Butcher is another one making menacing ground on the outside. Crow Park is right on the inside, holding his position, tracking the leaders. Man at work trying to go between runners. And Ballybeg Boss is just two or three lengths the drift of the front five as the pace of the race really now beginning to pick up as they go out over the third last. Ballybeg Boss now just being driven along to try and remain in contention. Has come to the fog, was pulled up before the third last. But it is Wishful Drinking who has the narrow advantage but has just been headed because Barry the Butcher is striding on in the hands of Jack Hendrick. Has got a length or a half advantage. Boxing away down the inside. Look to the west. Man at work and wishful drinking. Crow Park has plenty to do at this stage. The favourite. He's in fifth position as wishful as Jack Barry the Butcher went safely at over the second last. He's established the advantage upwards of four or five lengths now and is beginning to pull clear. Look to the west is in second. Crow Park is now finding top gear and is staying on into second. They're being followed by man at work but it's Barry the Butcher and Jack Hendrick to be caught as they race on down towards the 14th and final fence Barry the Butcher measures it well he has the advantage over six lengths man at work is down look to the west is down and it's Barry the Butcher is being pushed out by Jack Hendrick for the Cormac Doyle yard made a decisive move coming out of the back straight and has won this well beats Crow Park the third and only horse to other horse to complete that's Ballybeg Boss